Hello everyone, hope you guys are doing well. Welcome, welcome to the reading. So this reading, we are gonna do all signs. We're gonna go all the way from Aries down to Pisces and we're gonna look at newer connections. So if you have recently started talking to someone, dating someone online, in person, whatever. Also, um, this is gonna take a look at you know July <clears throat> as well. So the energy is from now through July. So if you meet somebody in July, this is for you too. All right, so we're gonna go down and see if it's a hit or miss for somebody new or somebody new that's coming into your life. Should you, you know, invest energy and time or is it a big fat miss? Hang out to the very end of the reading because for each zodiac sign, I'm gonna pull um, a card of advice as to what spirit recommends you do or how to handle this new connection. So we'll, we'll pull one card for each zodiac at the very end. So make sure that you like, share, subscribe, leave your comments, hit that notification bell. All of that really does help my channel co to uh, continue to grow. I've got some new things coming to the channel and to my website, which is very exciting. Also two private readings are open. So if you guys wanna book a personal reading, you can do that. I will put all of that in the description box. We're gonna play a little game on this one. In the comments, put your best or your worst zodiac sign that you've dated. I do read all my comments, y'all, I really do. Um, so I get a kick out of that kind of stuff. So put who who is the best or who is the worst, or you can put both. All right, put something in the comment section. I wanna read through those, that's fun. All right, let's get started. Also, I'll put the link to the decks I'm using. So for the main spread, I'm using Influence of the Angels Tarot by Barbesi. And to clarify, I'm gonna use the Dreaming Way Tarot by Choi. And I'll put those links uh, in the description box as well. All right, let's get started. All right, Aries, you're first. What is up for Aries? So talking to someone new or will be throughout the month of July, Where's this new connection going? Is this a hit or a miss for Aries? What do they need to know, please? So the first position is gonna be how you'll feel about this person. Second position, how they're going to feel about you. Third position, we're gonna take a look at the hidden factors. So what's hidden? What's the influence to this connection that you may or may not know? And what's the outcome for you two? All right, Aries, you're first. Show me Aries and their new connection. Is it a hit or is it a big fat mess? All right, let's do it. Aries, this is also good for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's do it. All right, Aries, how are you going to feel about this person? Ooh, the Two of Pentacles. You may feel as though they're juggling you or they're um, somebody that likes to date a lot of people. Here, let's scoot y'all down. You might even view them as, you know, juggling a lot. Like they have a lot in their life that they're trying to balance. You may be not so sure right away. It could be an earth sign. How are they gonna feel about you, Aries? The 10 of swords in reverse. Closing out cycles. It looks like to me this is a connection, Aries, where you're going to be kind of up in the air about them because this person's going to view you as probably closing some, you know, hard times. Ten of Swords in Reverse is recovery. You know, maybe you dated other people that juggled you in the past or something like that. So there's this energy, which is good to know how they're going to feel about you. That way you know, you know how to handle it. But they may view you as, not, you know, being a little bit cautious. You're still recovering. What's the hidden factors coming in that you don't see? The Nine of Cups. So I think that you guys will have a really good time together. You might drink a lot of chocolate milk together or tequila. Nine of Cups is we go out, we have a good time. It feels really good. Everything that you do together is amplified. It can be overindulgent, in fact. What's the outcome for the connection, Aries? What do we have? Oh, Ten of Cups. All right. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, typically card of Pisces. So you've got two tens here. So completing old cycles, both of you are shifting onto something new, obviously. It's gonna be a newer connection. So with that 10 of cups here, could be ultimate happiness, right? I get the sense with the cups cards. This is somebody that's gonna make you feel really good. Um, Aries, but there's going to be this kind of, I'm really busy, I've got a lot going on, or I've had a lot of heartbreak in the past, I'm just not really sure, but they're going to know that about you. 
All right, so let's clarify this for Aries. Again, using the Dreaming Way Tarot. Clarify this newer connection for Aries. What does Aries need to know about this person? I'm really hoping the outcome there with that Ten of Cups, Aries, isn't that somebody's married here. Because we've got self-indulgent energy with the Nine of Cups. That can be, you know, we'll see. The Ten of Cups is in the up right here. So this could go somewhere if somebody's not married. Let's clarify that outcome here. Aries and their new connection from now all the way through the end of July. What would Aries need to know about this person and the connection? We're going to do it. This is going to be a long video. It's literally probably going to take four hours to upload to YouTube. I don't know what the hell is going on. I've got the highest, you know, Wi-Fi speed imaginable, and it still doesn't seem to make a difference. All right. So why is Aries going to feel the two of pentacles about this person? The ace of cups. Strong connection. You're going to know that this person is like really into you, Aries. There's the new connection with the Ace of Cups. A lot of cups. I think you guys, again, overindulge. Like, you guys are going to be drinking, having fun. But you're going to be kind of going back and forth, right? There's going to be emotion involved here. Why is this person going to view Aries as the Ten of Swords in reverse? Why? Because of the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah. Putting a lot. They're going to know that you're putting a lot of effort and work into yourself after recovery. Right. And also too, probably very um, goal oriented, very focused on literally your job, its stability and value. So I kind of feel like Aries has the upper hand in this connection. Why is the nine of cups here in the hidden factors for Aries and this person and the eight of wands? Yeah, there you go. There's that passion, a lot of back and forth communication. This is we go out, we have a good time. This is somebody that you're going to have a good time with. A lot of passion. There's your fire energy. Could be online, but I, I'm not really getting that. I don't really feel that on the, in this energy, particularly. But again, ooh, this feels so good. And I feel like this person's going to be a little bit more into you than you into them. You're going to be into it, but they see that you're really, really focused on, on, you know, again, recovery, your job, your stability, that kind of thing. I think also to um, Aries, again, those of you that dealt with jugglers or something in the past, you're still healing from that, but there will be a lot of heat and a lot of communication. Why is the outcome the Ten of Cups here for Aries? What's this? And the Two of Swords in reverse, Libra and Energy. We're going to have to clarify that again. Why the Ten of Cups here with the Two of Swords in reverse for Aries and this newer connection? What's this about? Page of Wands in reverse. So there you go. I think that this is um, Aries. Be careful you don't self-sabotage, right? Especially if you were involved with somebody in the past, you found they were married or it was a third party or something like that. I feel like that's you. Remember, I told you I think this person is going to be more into you than you into them. Yeah, see the Three of Cups. I think that this is going to be a lot of happiness, a good time, but I think ultimately you make the final decision to probably stop communicating at some point with them. This is kind of a, it's not a forever, it's a for now. And the three of cups, you may just decide that it's more of a friends with benefits or just a friend, like a good time. I'm getting a lot of that energy of you go out, you drink, you have a good time, you celebrate. You don't have to be a drinker. I'm just saying. So Aries, I feel like it's a, it's a hit. But I feel like it'll be a miss when it comes to like something very long term, right? And I mean, you know, that's all right. Maybe you don't want anything really long term. Again, I feel like that that's more your energy. <clears throat> and they're going to know it. And I, it, I'm not getting aggressive energy or anything like anyone's going to be pissed. It's just it is kind of what it is. I see that going through um, maybe August. All right. Move on to Taurus. So Taurus, new connection, talking to someone new, meeting someone new, online, in person, whatever this is. From now through the end of July, what does Taurus need to know? So how will Taurus feel about this person? How will this person feel about Taurus? What are the hidden factors? What's coming in that Taurus doesn't see? And what's the outcome between Taurus and this person? Show me Taurus and this newer connection. Where is this headed? Taurus, from now through the end of July. What do they need to know? We're going to find out. All right, Taurus, how are you going to feel about them? The Four of Pentacles. How will they feel about you? Ooh, 
the devil, Capricorn energy. What are the hidden factors coming in that you won't see? The Knight of Cups. And what's the outcome for you two? Is this a hit or a miss? A Queen of Pentacles. All right, let's start clarifying this. <laughs> I went backwards. I used your clarifying deck instead of your main spread. It really doesn't matter, does it? But, you know, let's clarify this for Taurus. So Taurus is talking to someone new. Where's this headed? So now through the end of July, is this a hit or a miss? What does a Taurus need to know? What does Taurus need to know about this connection from now through July? Taurus, sun, moon, Venus. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. <clears throat> you might hold back from this person, Taurus, and it makes them a little bit obsessive, right? You're like kind of not opening up or something like that. Let's see why. Why is the Four of Pentacles here for how Taurus will feel? about this person. What's this Four of Pentacles? Yeah, the Nine of Swords. Holding back, not revealing, not really wanting to open up. Could be work-related. You're just, you're trying to buy something, you're saving, you're just not like completely invested. You're holding back. You're holding on to your own values here. And with the Nine of Swords, it's because there's gonna be a lot going on in your life, I think. You're gonna have a hard time kind of getting over some sort of anxiety that could be due to just life in general. How are they gonna view you or how are they gonna feel about you, Taurus? The devil could be a Capricorn. And the Knight of Swords in reverse, yeah. You're, they know that you're not going to rush into anything, but it's going to make them feel a little bit like overly obsessively thinking about it. Because that Knight of Swords in reverse says, mm -mm, I'm not, I'm pulling back. I'm not going to be impulsive. I'm not going to rush into anything. All right. What are the hidden factors here? The Knight of Cups, Scorpio, and the Seven of Pentacles. So what's coming that you won't see with this Knight of Cups, this person's going to be very charming. They're going to kind of try to sweep you off your feet because this person wants to invest. That's your energy. Seven of Pentacles with that Earth energy. They're going to they're going to wait on you too. Again, they're going to be more into you than you're into them. The outcome shows a Queen of Pentacles. This could just be you really focused on your money, your business, Taurus. You being very slow. Again, you're not rushing into anything. And the Queen of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. What's this Queen of Cups in the outcome here for Taurus and this person and the lovers, sign of Gemini? This person could ultimately start dating other people too. So it's somebody that's going to show you a lot of interest and they're going to be kind of stuck, right, a little bit because you're not really moving as quickly as they would want. And so, the, and so moving forward, that devil energy, that obsessively thinking about it turns into maybe them dating other people. But I don't really think you're going to care. Um, but I ultimately see, you know, you focused on yourself, your money, that kind of thing, your job, your own priorities. And then we've got this other queen here and the lovers, Gemini energy it could be a choice or a decision that they have to make here if it's not moving the way they want. All right. All right, Taurus, that's what I got for you guys. All right. Can somebody get married in this reading? I'm just kidding. All right. Let's see what's up for Gemini. All right, Gemini, your next person here, dating someone new, talking to someone new. Is this going to be a hit or a miss? This is from now through the end of July for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Gemini, what does Gemini need to know? So how will Gemini feel about this person? How will this person feel about Gemini? What are the hidden factors coming in that Gemini won't see? And what's the outcome between Gemini and this person? Is this a hit or a miss? Where is this leading for Gemini and a newer connection? And y'all, this could just even be somebody that was a friend that maybe, rom you know, romantic feelings have started. So just however it fits. All right, Gemini, what do you guys need to know? How will you feel about this person, Gemini? The death card, sign of Scorpio. How will they feel about you? The three of wands. Could be an online connection or at a distance in some fashion. What are the hidden factors coming in that you don't see? Ooh, the two of cups. And what's the outcome for you too? What do we have? Ooh, the ace of cups. There's that new connection. All right, let's do it. Let's clarify this bad bitch of a reading, Gemini. 
All right, Gemini's new connection. What do we need to know here? So I see Scorpio. I see some fire. Let's see what's going on. Could be a soulmate, that two of cups uh, that you don't even see coming, right? You're like, where the hell did you come from? Take my cup, damn it. Doesn't, you know, soulmates aren't always supposed to be forever, but they can be. Can be two people that are ready for a relationship here. Show me a uh, Gemini and this person. What does Gemini need to know? Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, so let's see what you need to know. Okay, why is the death card how Gemini will uh, feel about this person? Scorpio energy, what's this about? And the Eight of Cups. Hmm, interesting. Uh, clarify that Eight of Cups one more time for Gemini. King of Pentacles. Some of you are leaving another relationship behind. You've put an end to something. But I feel like as far as how you'll feel about this person is you're you're leaving your past behind. You're going through complete change and you want you're going to want something that's very stable and long term. You're also going to feel um, that you expect loyalty and, you know, for them to be a provider in some way. Not necessarily just with like gifts and money and that kind of thing, but successful. How do they feel or how will they feel about Gemini? Three of Wands. Why is this here? And temperance, sign of Sagittarius. This person has been waiting for their person for a while, and it looks like you're it. Sag energy. Um, they're going to be patient. They, you know, obviously with temperance, this is like, oh, this person balances me. It's the yin to the yang. I've been waiting for this for a long time. All right, what's coming in that you don't see? Or what's going to surprise the hell out of you with this person? King of Cups. Woo, King of Cups. Look at all the King energy. That is long-term love. That's unconditional love. You know, the king of cups loves you regardless. It doesn't matter. They don't always show it, but they can have kind of a hard exterior, but they love, love, love. This is beautiful. This is a strong relationship. This could be ultimately turn into something quite beautiful, Gemini. I'm just saying. Uh, the outcome is the ace of cups. Why is this here for Gemini? So why is this the outcome for Gemini? What is this ace of cups? Yep, ace of pentacles. There's your new beginning. The universe is saying, take it, Gemini. Here's your gift. There's emotional investment all over the place. This is beautiful. I don't think I've done a reading like this in, well, a long, long ass time. It's actually very beautiful. There's value and stability tied to this, Gemini. And there's your new beginning. There's emotion, but then there's also that stability. I like it. Good luck. Let me know. Y'all, make sure you comment. If you've already come into contact with somebody new, let me know, you know, where it's going. What's, ha what's, you know, what's happening? All right, let's move on to Cancer. All right, Cancer, what's going on? Let's see, new connection. Talking to somebody new. Maybe you've got a crush on somebody new. Maybe you've just been out on a couple of dates. Is it a hit or is it a miss? Should you invest your time and energy? Where will this go? This for Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What does Cancer need to know about this newer connection from now through the end of July? What's up for Cancer? How does, uh, how does, or how will Cancer feel about this person? How will the person feel about Cancer? What are the hidden factors coming that Cancer won't see? And what's the outcome between Cancer and this person? Where's this headed? Hit or a miss? All right, let's do it. Uh, July love readings are coming very soon, you guys. All right, how will Cancer feel about this person? Wow, the death card. Y'all saw me shuffle. I shuffled. Death, Scorpio energy. How will this person feel about Cancer? The Empress, Libra Taurus energy. What are the hidden factors? What's coming in that you won't see? The Three of Wands. And what is y'all's outcome? Ooh, the Four of Wands. Ooh, I've got a Cancer rising. Is mom gonna find love? You know what? I don't really want love right now. I gotta be honest. All right, let's see what's going on. So I see Scorpionic Energy, Libra Taurus. All right, what does Cancer need to know about this new connection? What's coming in? Is this a hit or a miss for Cancer from now through the end of July? What is up for Cancer? Cancer, how will this person, or how will Cancer feel about this person? How will this person feel about Cancer? What's coming in that will shock the hell out of Cancer that they don't see? And what's the outcome for Cancer and this person? 
All right, Cancer, what do you need to know? Let's do it. All right. Let's do it. Okay, you're going to feel the death card for this person. Why? Why will Cancer feel death for this person? The Ten of Wands in reverse. Yep. Closing out cycles, endings. You may not, you may feel as though you're not completely ready for anything long term. Maybe you feel that they're not your person. Right, you're going through a lot of changes, whether that's a job, a move, ending of old relationships, and you just, it's a heavy load that you don't want to carry. How will they feel about cancer? Empress, why is that here? And the Eight of Wands, woo! They're going to be really attracted to you. They're going to, you know, feel, whether you're male or female, you're attractive on the inside, the outside, you have a lot of potential. You're, if you're a parent, they're going to view you as a very loving and nurturing parent. They want to feed the connection with a lot of movement and a lot of ram bam and communication and that those arrows of love what's coming that's going to shock the hell out of cancer with those three of wands and the world Ooh, let's clarify that one more time what's this about in the world and the knight of wands it could be that you're waiting again maybe the timing's not right for you cancer right, because of endings, but also the three of wands with the world, it's very much energy of I'm waiting for my soulmate, major arcana number 21 is the world, it's like I don't have to look any further, right, you may feel that this is just kind of a passionate connection, but I'm telling you, they're going to be into you, I think you guys will have a good time together, I think it'll just be you that doesn't see this as like your forever person, but it'll be fun, the outcome is the four of wands, why is this here for these two? For these two. And the hermit in reverse. They're going to get you out of your shell. Now, we're not talking about exes, so I'm not doing comeback around here. Now, for some of you, maybe you're not over a past connection. And you go out with this person, you have a good time. The four of wands is celebrations and going to festivities and just a good time. It's joy, right? And with the hermit in reverse, this person's going to bring you out of your shell because it looks like you're overcoming something here. You've got Virgo energy there. So they're going to kind of, in a sense, help you heal cancer, I feel. Um, but for those of you that are kind of still maybe not completely over someone else, you might be waiting for somebody else to come back around. And this person is just kind of a time fill. I feel like it's a hit, though. I mean, I feel like it's a good connection. And they're going to definitely see a lot of growth and potential with you. I just, I don't know if you're going to be ready for that. So I like it. It's a hit for me. All right, Leo, what's up? You guys, I'm not really paying a whole lot of attention to how much time I'm taking on each um, sign. I just do it until I feel like the message is out there. So if some are longer than others, I apologize. All right, Leo, somebody new. Online, dating, whatever an app, your neighbor, you met someone at Kroger, who knows? Let's see what this energy looks like. So is this going to be a hit or a miss for Leo from now through the end of July? How will Leo feel about them? How will they feel about Leo? Does this have potential to move forward? Hidden factors, what's going to shock the hell out of Leo when it comes to this connection? Ooh, mom just almost dropped all those cards on the floor. You ever try to pick up tarot cards off of a wood floor? It's fun. Not at all. <laughs> all right, how will Leo feel about this person? The Seven of Pentacles. How will they feel about you, Leo? The Five of Wands. What's going to come in that's going to shock the hell out of you about this? King of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. And what's the outcome for you too? You have the Hanged Man in reverse. Pisces energy. <clears throat> I'm just looking at this for a second. I feel like this is going to be somebody that you want to invest in. You've been waiting a while. You've been really kind of taking stock of past relationships, Leo. Maybe you're not completely done with something from your past. You're kind of trying to figure out, is this going to be worth my investment, right? How are they going to feel about you? They're going to be conflicted. Five of wands. Um, and it could be that this person feels like maybe you're dating someone else or you date other people. Like you don't want to settle down. Something like that. Got a king of cups here in the hidden factors. Just saw the nine of swords. So yeah, there's some anxiety over this connection. I have a feeling that it has to do with like another energy. Somebody here isn't ready to like settle down because they're still maybe in love with someone else. Let's see what's going on. What does Leo need to know about this newer connection from now through the end of July? 
What's up? All right, why is Leo gonna feel the Seven of Cups for this person? I'm sorry, the Seven of Pentacles for this person because of the Four of Wands in reverse. Yeah, a breakup. You feel like maybe they're not commitment worthy or you're lacking stability in some way when it comes to your love life. Could be a divorce, could be a breakup. So, you know, your feelings for them are going to be like, God, is this worth my time? You know, I've invested a lot in love. I'm really planting the seeds, you know, to take off in my life in some way. So with the four of wands in reverse, you may feel as though there's a lack of stability with this person, maybe due to another person. How would they feel about you, Leo? Five of Wands and the Queen of Swords. Some of you have Libra in your chart. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Energy. And also, too, be cautious. This person might have an ex. Sometimes that Queen of Swords will come out as an ex. I think she, because she's in the upright, I don't feel like it's like a cheating, like they're trying to hide it from you. But there's some um, conflict or drama around a Queen of Swords. Hell, it could even be their own mother. What's going to come in that'll shock the hell out of you? You've got the King of Cups, Scorpio Energy, and the Ace of Cups. Wow. That's like a lot of love. That's falling in love. That's being in love. But who are we in love with? What's this King of Cups, Ace of Cups? Could be you're in love with somebody else. Two of Cups. Look at that shit. That is like some strong ass soulmate shit. But the two of you release. You might have somebody else coming in, uh, Leo, that you don't even, you're not even thinking that's going to come in. If you be careful, if your new, newer connection is a water sign, they have somebody that they're not over or somebody that comes in. There's another energy here, but it's not between the two of you. That's the problem. Somebody's still in love with somebody else or will be. The outcome is the hanged man in reverse, Pisces, energy, yeah, and the eight of cups. Releasing, not really willing to budge or change your ways. And so you two walk away, you walk away, they walk away, you both walk away. Something like that, Leo. So be cautious of any, if you know that's not you, who's kind of, you know, maybe has somebody else still or really somebody's deeply in love in that energy. I just don't think it's you and the newer person. So be cautious, you know, of them too. All right. So that one's, I would say that's a miss, Leo. I'm sorry. Well, I'm sorry. All right, Virgo, let's see what's coming in for you. So Virgo's meeting someone new online, in person. Meet somebody at Home Depot. Who knows? What does Virgo need to know about this person? Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, from now through the end of July. If you guys are lucky, you might receive this reading by Christmas. That's how long uploads are taking, especially with a video that's gonna be about an hour, so I apologize. All right, Virgo, what does Virgo need to know about this newer connection? How will Virgo feel? How will this person feel about Virgo? What are the hidden factors or what's going to surprise or shock the hell out of Virgo? Well, we just got a card that fell. What do we have? The two of wands. We're going to keep that out. See what that means. Could be a fire sign. Uh, and what's the outcome? Is this a hit or a miss for Virgo? Virgo that's talking to someone new, dating someone new, meeting someone new in July. Now through the end of July. All right. How will you feel about them? Virgo judgment, sign of Scorpio. How will they feel about you? Virgo, the moon, Pisces, energy. What's coming in that you won't see or you're not expecting that'll shock the hell out of you? The sun in reverse, Leo energy. What's the outcome for the two of you, Virgo? The page of wands in reverse. Losing the passion, cutting off communication in some way. Let's see why. It, it, there's this indecisive energy. I think this two of wands came out here as kind of an like overall energy. There's a message there. And that's, you know, I'm not really sure. I, you know, I'm just kind of sitting back on a lawn chair when I really need to take action and make a decision. So what does Virgo need to know about this connection? Is it a hit or is it a miss, Virgo? From now through the end of July. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. So I see some Pisces, Scorpio, Leo. Of course, it doesn't have to be any of those, but I like to call them out if I see them. All right, so why will Virgo feel the judgment card for this person? Why is judgment here? 
Oh my God, really? Judgment on top of judgment? That's some major shit. Why judgment? Knight of Wands. All right, you're gonna, um, you guys have done some soul searching. You've done some healing, releasing your past. And it had something to do with probably players. And that's why you're gonna, that indecision's there a little bit. Maybe somebody that's been just kind of hit, you know, hit it and quit it type energy. So this is like, you're really gonna look at this person. This is, you know, kind, not really judging in a bad way, but like, you know, judging. Ooh, because of the King of Pentacles. That just flew out. Could have been somebody from your past, but also, mm -mm, you guys are done. It's right on top of that Knight of Wands. You don't want like players, you're ready to settle down. This is like big, big energy, big decisions. You're really, really looking for the person. And this connection, you're, you're not sure. How are they gonna feel about you, the moon? And the five of wands, conflict, drama. Why? Why the five of wands? And the two of pentacles. They may feel that you're dating other people. And you maybe you are. I mean, hell, why not? We got a couple twos here. Decisions, juggling, going back and forth. Competition with that five of wands. And it's going to cause them to be a little bit confused. I think the moon is bringing confusions. But also they feel like maybe you're not telling them everything. You could have somebody in your back pocket, right? That's, that's more about a commitment. This could be a connection that's just passionate. Um, or somebody's coming in that you don't, you know, that's more commitment. Uh, why is the hidden factors the sun in reverse? And the knight of cups. Got two knights here. Uh, scorpionic energy, hidden factors is, I think this person is going to be a little bit unhappy, a little bit sad. They're going to, they're going to lack clarity too. There's a lot of confusion. Why doesn't Virgo want to, you know, be with me? I think you're going to just look at this person as like, like a very passionate connection, but they're not your person and it's going to leave them confused. They're not going to know why. A lack of clarity, unhappiness. The Knight of Cups, they'll probably even try to like, you know, kind of sweep you off your feet to get you to stay, something like that. But the ultimate outcome is the Page of Wands in reverse with the Three of Swords in reverse. Yeah, I, I get the sense, Virgo, that it would be more you. There's somebody else around, like just casually dating. I don't think this is a scenario that you're like hardcore cheating or anything like that. I'm not saying that. But the Three of Swords in reverse, you, you're going to cut communication with this person. There's recovery with the Three of Swords in reverse, and it's kind of just like getting over it. You'll probably even be apologetic, but I think that the passion dies out pretty quick with this person. So I would say it's a miss on that one. Don't waste or invest too much time into that one. I, ultimately, I think you're looking for your person to settle down with, and I don't really, I don't know that they're gonna be it, but this person will be confused. They're like, what? And they may even say to you, are you dating a bunch of other people? Like, it's kind of um, the energy of them investigate. Like, I didn't see the Page of Swords, but they're gonna be like a little bit jealous. All right, let's keep it going. Libra, so new connection. What do you need to know about this person? Is it a hit or is it a miss? So from now through the end of July for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, what does Libra need to know about this connection? Should they invest? Will it be just a good time? Could it go somewhere? Again, y'all, if you haven't dated someone new or started talking to someone new, it could be coming in July. So... What does Libra need to know? How will Libra feel about this person? And how will this person feel about Libra? What's coming in that Libra won't expect? So what's gonna shock the heart out of Libra? What's the outcome between Libra and this person? Well, let's find out. All right, how will you feel about them, Libra? The Eight of Swords in reverse. How will they feel about you? The King of Wands could be a Sagittarius, maybe a Leo. What are the hidden factors? What's going to shock the hell out of you? The Page of Wands. They might be younger than you. They're like mature, but in age, they may be younger. And what's the outcome for the two of you? Libra, Page of Swords. That's your card. Research. More to find out. Curiosity. More to uncover. Somebody kind of keeping an eye on someone. All right. Libra. And this newer connection. So this could be online, right? It doesn't have to be, but I'm seeing a lot of communication. You've got two pages here. And then you've got a king of wands. So definitely could be an age difference. What does Libra need to know, please? I feel like a 
with that Eight of Swords in reverse, you're gonna go into this connection, and some of you already have. You don't wanna be tied to it, right? You don't wanna be in a situation where you're overthinking and stuck and, you know, it's like, ugh, I wanna be free. I, I'm just getting that sense. And it could be because the, maybe they come out a little strong. This could be somebody that's like, tries to like get in your pants after the first half hour you meet or something. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm getting very like, I mean, hey, all right. Uh, why will Libra feel the Eight of Swords in reverse for this person and the Two of Cups? What's this Two of Cups with the Eight of Swords in reverse? Why is this here? Yeah, Nine of Swords. Uh, it could be that you're, you recently left another relationship and you just don't, it's like, ugh. Too much anxiety, too much worry, too many sleepless nights. I just get the sense Libra's not going to want to be tied down. Uh, how will this person feel about you? King of Wands, Queen of Swords. Well, look who's showing up. It's you. It's your card, Libra. This person's going to view you as being very intellectual, very, very cut and dry, very to the point. They've got a lot of passion for you, and it's the energy of they're going to do everything they can to, like, win you over, wine you, dine you. You know, this is somebody that's, you know, really attracted to you physically, but also to your mind and to your no-nonsense bullshit. And they like that, and they want to, they're going to want to kind of parade you around. What's coming that's going to shock you or that you don't see? Page of Wands and the Page of Wands in reverse. You guys go out. You have a good time. Again, there could be a younger, it could be a, a, an age difference here. You're going to be delivering some sort of bad news to this person. And I also feel like that's why you show up as this Queen of Swords. Like, to the point, cutting it off, you know, after a good time. Outcome is the Page of Swords between the two of you. Why? Because of the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. What's this nine of pentacles in reverse? What's this nine of pentacles in reverse? And justice. There you are again. You're showing up all over this reading. Okay, for a small portion of you, um, you're already married or you're already in a long-term relationship and you have somebody in your life that's going to try to tempt you. And you're kind of flirty or whatever, but nothing too, and you know, it's not like too crazy or inappropriate. You stop, you're like, get away from me at some point. And they kind of stalk you a little bit, like asking about you. Oh, is Libra still in a relationship? Is, is Libra still married? Something like that. Justice can certainly be marriage. This person, regardless though, if you're married or not, they're going to want a long-term relationship with you. And you don't want it. You're getting your money together as well. It could be that you work with this person, whether you're already committed to someone or not. You just, you're just you not going to want anything to do with this person. I don't even see you really doing a whole lot with them. I think it's a miss. They're going to tempt you, though. This person, again, I kept getting that feeling of somebody's going to try to tempt you with the boom boom. Right? But I don't, I'm not getting overly, like, they want to, like, tie it down. They don't want to, like, pick out China patterns. This is somebody that is very attracted to your mind and to your wit and to your beauty and your looks, fellas. Your looks. All right. I don't see you giving them the time of day. All right, Scorpio, you're dating someone new, talking to someone new. Is it a hit or is it a big fat miss? What does Scorpio need to know about this person? From now through the end of July, anyone new, online, in person, you meet him at Target, who knows? What does a Scorpio need to know about this person? How will they feel? How will Scorpio feel about them? How will they feel about Scorpio? What are the hidden factors coming that Scorpio won't see? That's going to shock the hell out of them. And what's going to be the outcome here between Scorpio and this person? Now for the end of July. Is it a hit or is it a miss, Scorpio? You tell me. Well, I'm going to tell you. The cards are going to tell you. How will you feel about them? The Ace of Swords, Aquarian Energy. How will they feel about you? Woo! Three of Swords. All right. What are the hidden factors or what's going to shock the hell out of you? The Ten of Pentacles. Maybe that somebody's married. And what's the outcome here, Scorpio, for the two of you? The Page of Cups. I know we're not doing exes. I'm not going there, but I'm getting very much an energy of the person you're dealing with feeling hurt by you in some way. 
listen, that Ace of Swords isn't always victory and a breakthrough and clarity and truthful communication. I mean, it can be, but it can also be you're cutting somebody off. You're taking that sword up and you're speaking your truth here. Maybe you've already done this to this person. I still feel like it's a newer connection. They're going to feel heartbroken or disappointed by this. So you're going to speak your truth. This is somebody, Scorpio, that right away, you're going to be like, look, this is how it is. Let's see why, though. What's up here? with this person this is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Uh, it could be that you start talking to somebody here and then somebody new comes along too that you're more into or that you see more potential with. Listen, these aren't like long-term relationships. It's not like people are cheating here. It's just you're dating and you have interest in someone new and you wanna know, like, is it does it have potential or should I keep dating? As long as everybody's open and honest, and I think you will be with that Ace of Swords. What does Scorpio need to know, please, about this connection? Is it a hit or a miss for Scorpio? Now through the end of July, why will Scorpio feel the Ace of Swords for this person and the Three of Wands? Uh, let's clarify that again. Why the Three of Wands? The world, yeah. You're waiting for your person. Again, and by the way, I'm going to have some tarot classes available online soon. That'll be fun. But the world is, again, I'm waiting for my person. Look, even in this deck, he's kind of older. Like, he's been there, done that. It's success. You've reached closure through a long journey. You're going to tell this person that you're waiting on something specific for your love life. And I think it's going to disappoint them. Why is the Three of Swords here? Because, yeah, Six of Pentacles in reverse. You may even tell this person, listen, you know, there's somebody else I'm kind of interested in. I feel like they're my person. And it's going to disappoint this newer connection because they feel like there's a lack of balance. Like something's one-sided here. You're going to break somebody's heart. Uh, what's coming that's going to shock the hell out of you, Scorpio? Ten of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands. Yeah, this is you blocking this person. It's fighting for what you want, standing your ground. And what is it? Well, it's value and commitment long-term, something very stable. Yep, Queen of Pentacles. And also a lot of you are focused on your business, your work, your home, your kids, whatever. Money looks really good for y'all too, by the way. What's the outcome though for Scorpio and this newer connection? Y'all keep in mind, this could even be like online too. You know, it's whatever it is, Page of Cups. And the Ten of Wands. I think a lot of you in business too, you know, your career in business, like you're uh, pursuing a dream of some sort and you've got a lot on your plate, Ten of Wands. For some of you, that heavy load and heavy burden is like a specific person you have in mind. You're done dating. You're done like fooling around. There's something about them you're not into. For others of you, it's because you're very, very focused on your home, your money, your career, your business. You got two tens here, so you're completing a cycle. I say it's a miss, but it's not a miss because of, you know, anything you're doing. It's just, it's not, it's not good timing, but this person is going to be disappointed. Yep. They're like, Ugh, you know, I want to give to Scorpio, but Scorpio is either into somebody else or there's just an imbalance here. So just know that. All right. Uh, Sagittarius, what do you guys need to know? So this is for Sagittarius. So Sagittarius that are meeting someone new from now through the end of July. What do they need to know? What does Sag need to know? So is it hit or a miss? How will Sagittarius feel about this person? How will they feel about Sag? What's coming in that's going to shock the hell out of Sagittarius? What are the hidden factors? And what's the outcome for this connection? Will it be a hit or a miss? For Sagittarius and this person. What does Sag need to know about this newer connection? So this is kind of like a singles reading, right? It's something a little bit different. All right, how will you feel? Five of Wands. How will they feel? The Nine of Wands. There's your Sag energy. What's coming in that you don't see that's going to shock the hell out of you? The hermit in reverse, all right, it could be a past person. But the hermit in reverse could also just be somebody that like you've been friends with, right? Maybe you haven't talked to this person for a while and they come out and they're like, hey, I wanna date you. <laughs> hey, let's go out, I have feelings for you. Something like that. What's the outcome for you too? It's the eight of wands in reverse. <laughs> That's your energy. You're like, nope, I'm good. 
Uh, yeah, I feel like it's a mess already, but let's clarify it. Let mom not kind of get ahead of herself. This is somebody you already know. And remember, I, well, you don't remember because you probably fast forwarded to your sign. By the way, I would definitely recommend that y'all watch as many signs as you can through this because you don't know who the person's going to be or at least go watch the sign of the person you're dating. Um, this person's really on guard and they're fearful and worried and all of that. I think you already know this person, Sagittarius, but it hasn't been in a romantic way. This is somebody that maybe, again, that you were friends with or you knew from a long time ago, but there's never been like a relationship or a hookup or anything like that. There's something about this though that you don't really see progress or change. You don't see it moving forward. So you'll give it a little bit of time, but you're not going to put a lot into this. Let's see though. What does Sag need to know about this um, per, this newer connection that they're going to talk to or meet or date? What's up? All right. Why is the five of wands how sad you'll feel though about this person? Yeah, the four swords. You're like, no, I'm good. This is very much withdrawing and pulling away. Libra and energy there. It's like, uh, too much drama. Like I got too much going on. It, it could even be that you're dating a lot of other people. You're not into this. I can tell already you're not into this person. So expect somebody to reach out to you. you you'll kind of talk to them, but it's like you, you figure out really fast that you don't want to do anything with it here. How will they feel about you, Nine of Wands? Why? Protective. And the Two of Pentacles. Why is the Nine of Wands, Two of Pentacles, how they'll feel about uh, Sag? Because of the hangman. Yeah, you put them at a stalemate. P Pisces energy. Could be because you're dating a lot of people or you just want to go out and have a good time. You've got a lot going on. You're going to like withdraw. This is the energy of like they reach out and you don't return text messages. And then they're like, what the hell's going on? I'm worried. Kind of that energy. What's coming that Sag doesn't see or that will shock the hell out of them? The Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, it could be somebody that you work with that you were on the same team or you were friends with or something like that. And you haven't heard from them from for a while. And then they express feelings for you or something, but you're going to know right away. It's like, nope. Because the outcome for you too is the eight of wands in reverse, a lack of change or movement, lack of communication, blocking. Yeah. Five of wands. You might even block this person. You're like, what the hell are you doing here? Look at the five of wands twice. You're going to block this person or you're not going to, you don't feel passion for it. That's for sure. This is definitely a mess. Sorry, you guys. I, you know, mom doesn't sugarcoat shit on this channel. I don't. Cause you need to know like what's coming and somebody is coming towards Sagittarius that you haven't heard from in a long time or you didn't expect you might work for, with them. You could have worked with them in the past, something like that. And you're like, no, thanks. I'm good. But they're going to be kind of paranoid about it. Like they're like nervous. I'm going to vape. All right, Capricorn, you're next. So, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Talking to someone new. Is it a hit or is it a mess? What does Capricorn need to know about this connection? How will they feel? How will the person feel about Capricorn? What are the hidden factors coming or what's going to shock the hell out of Capricorn when it comes to this person? And what's the outcome for these two? How will this all play out? Dating someone new, talking to someone new. Is it a hit or is it a miss for Capricorn? Again, this is now through the end of July. Or really just whenever the hell you watch the reading. Don't forget to hang out to the very end because we are going to pull advice for each of you how you should deal with this person. All right, let's take a look. How will Capricorn feel about this person? The Knight of Pentacles in reverse. How will they feel about Capricorn? The Seven of Wands. What's coming in that you don't see or that's going to shock the hell out of you? Wow, Ten of Swords. Okay. And what's the outcome for you too? The Six of Cups. You may friend zone this person. The Six of Cups can be a friend. It doesn't have to just be the past. It doesn't. Uh, somebody could be still getting over their past, though, and isn't ready for any kind of connection. Like, not even, like, talking to somebody. It's like, you do it because you're trying to get over someone, or they do it because they're trying to get over it. Like, there's a connection, but it's like, mm, -mm I'm not ready. 
something like that. You're going to feel like you're going to put, like, there's something about this person, um, their stability. And I mean, listen, Capricorn, y'all are very um, goal oriented. You're very stable. You're very slow. You're very, uh, you're not overly emotional. You know, success and career and all those things are important to you as they should be. There's something about this person, it could be a Virgo, but something about them that you're just like, eh, it's not moving. Like they have no, they don't value something. They don't have any stability, something. Why is this Knight of Pentacles in reverse? Yeah, look at you showing up, the devil. So major for Capricorn. How are you gonna feel about them? Something about them is like, oof. Like maybe they just, they can't hold down a job. Or something and listen I'm not saying like oh they're jobless so what every you know people lose their jobs but this is more the energy of you're just like what the hell like you, they're toxic in some way or you're gonna feel like they are um, it could be that you find out about this person also they have some sort of like overindulgent like addiction or something like that which leaves them like mm, broke uh, how are they gonna feel about you seven of wands ten of swords that ten of swords has shown up twice they're gonna be, they're gonna look at you like you're gonna end this quickly. They may even get they may even be hurt with words here. I'm just saying, I'm just throwing it out there, and they're gonna be a little bit defensive. This is the energy of, yeah, I've had issues in the past, like I'm trying to get better. Yeah, you know, but they're, you're just like, mm, you don't have time for it, Capricorn. Because you you value success and you value potential and people like being, you know, pragmatic. There's something here you there. It, mm -mm. What's coming that you don't see? Or it'll shock the hell out of you. Ten of Swords and the Queen of Wands, Aries Energy. You guys are super confident, whether you're male or female. This person also has gone through an ending, um, either lost a job or a relationship ending here. And you're going to just go ahead and put that Tenth Sword there. What's this Queen? Of, what's this Queen of Wands and the Moon? Yeah, they're also not going to tell you something. Something about, I don't necessarily feel as though they're with somebody, but I feel like there's a lot of shit that they won't open up about and it's been hurt in other relationships. But I feel like it's mainly because they, they can't get their shit together. This could be somebody that you meet out, like you go out with friends and grab drinks or something like that. And it's like, there's an attraction, but then you know right away, you're like, mm-mm. And also they're not gonna be open, but it's very closed off. The outcome has a six of cups, that's interesting. What's this about? And the five of swords, yeah, they're past. Be careful, I think this person isn't stable anyway. Like they're, they're just not putting value into their future right now. And I also feel like they're dealing with an ex who could come back, five of swords. So be careful of that. That five of swords is like, me, 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 me. I'm you know sorry it hurts you, but mm, I'm not over my past or I'm going back to my past. Something like that. I don't feel like it'll be like detrimental to you, Capricorn, because I don't. You're not really into this person, but you guys meet out somewhere or through a friend, and there's a, there's going to be like a, an attraction with the devil energy, but it's just physical, and you're going to know right away. It's a well, it's a mess. All right, let's move on to Aquarius. All right, I gotta hit that babe again. All right, Aquarius, from now through the end of July, new connection, talking to someone new, dating someone new, someone new comes into your life. What do you need to know? Is it a hit or is it a miss? Where's this going to head? Is this your person? Will you guys like take a ride to Tiffany's or is this just a for now? What does Aquarius need to know? New connections from now through the end of July. Could be online, could be somebody you meet walking down the street. I always feel like a good place to meet somebody would be um, when I'm walking my dog. I don't know. There's a lot of dog walkers and like a lot of people with dogs. I don't know. But my dog usually barks at everybody. So that's probably actually a big fat miss for me. They're probably like crazy lady with a crazy dog. He's an Aries. All right. What does Aquarius need to know about this connection? Is this going to be a hit or a miss? All right, how will Aquarius feel about this person? Wheel of Fortune in reverse. How will they feel about Aquarius? The Death card could be a Scorpio. 
What's coming in that you don't see or that's going to shock the hell out of you? The world. Look at all these major arcana. This is a this is a soulmate of some sort. Remember, soulmates come in all forms. But this is somebody that's definitely supposed to come into your life for a reason. What's the outcome for the two of you, though? Ooh, the Ace of Cups. Ah, okay. Let's clarify, but I, I'm feeling it. I think I know what's going on here. All right, Aquarius, new connection, new person from now through the end of July. What does Aquarius need to know about this person? Is it a hit or is it a miss? So this video is like 55 minutes right now and I'm exuding a lot of fucking energy because these readings take a lot of energy. You know what would really suck right now is like if I had looked and it wasn't recording. Wouldn't that suck? Oh, that's happened before. It has. All right, what does Aquarius need to know? about this newer connection. Is this a hit or a miss? What's gonna happen here? Are we picking out China patterns or are we calling an Uber the next morning? Let's see. <clears throat> okay, so you're gonna feel the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. So why? Why the Wheel of Fortune in reverse for Aquarius and the Empress? Libra, Taurus energy. I feel as though when you first meet this person or it kind of moves along or talking or whatever, you're gonna feel like the timing's off because you're creating something new in your life. I mean, hell, maybe you're pregnant. I don't know, I'm just saying. But you know, the Empress is giving birth to something new, it's abundant, but this is also really focusing on yourself, nurturing yourself, loving yourself. There's expansion and growth. So it could be in love with this person. Not that you're not into them, but maybe you feel like the timing's off. Uh, they're going to feel the death card for you. Scorpio energy. Why is the death card here? What's this about? Two of swords in reverse. Libra energy. Why is the death card and the two of swords in reverse? What's this? The four of swords. More Libra energy. Yeah, they're going to feel like you're really withdrawn. They're going to feel as though you're, you're healing something here. And they're going to see it clearly. They're going to know, like, right away. Like, that it's probably not going to go anywhere. Why the four of swords? Yeah, the ace of pentacles. You guys are, um, Aquarius, you are <clears throat> giving birth to something. I mean, literally could be giving birth. Or starting a business, something new, something stable, something with money that's like the tangible side. And you feel like the timing's off here. I think there's a connection here, but it's it's the wrong time. But you're still going to learn something from this person because here's the world. That's in the hidden factors. Yeah, major arcana, number 21, end of the cycle. <clears throat> but this is also learning lessons. What's this world? The Ten of Cups. Ooh. And that's what I was feeling when I laid out the card. This is a person that's supposed to be in your life, Aquarius. I can't wait to do y'all's July love reading. You're like, nope, timing's off. I got other things. I'm a mom. I'm a dad. I'm starting something new. I'm focusing on myself. I'm loving myself. They're like, oh, okay, well, you know, Aquarius. But also... This person feels like you bring out change in them. Again, with the death card, Major Arcana, this is like a huge transformation. But that you're going to end it with them quickly. You're decisive. You know right away. They're, you're going to pull away from them. Like you're not going to return messages, that kind of thing. But they want it with you with the Ace of Pentacles, even though you're focused on something new in your life. Hidden factors is the world with the Ten of Cups. I feel like this is a situation where you feel as though you're in control. You're like, nope, nope, don't want it. They're not for me. Mm -mm, nope. And then, at, bam, out of nowhere, it's like you find your person. The world is success. And it's like, I don't even need to look any further. New beginnings. There's new beginnings after a lot of bullshit in y'all's past separately. Knight of Pentacles. You're going to move slowly. Because I think there's a connection here, Aquarius, out of nowhere that you're like, oh, shit, this, is, this does have potential. This could be my happily ever after. It's like you're going along saying, no, no, no. Why is the Ace of Cups in the outcome here? You will be very focused on money and career, though, too. Yeah, and the High Priestess in reverse. She's no longer closed off. She's no longer silent. It's go time. You're going to fall in love with someone. I guarantee it. Come back and watch this reading in, like, six months. What's this high priestess in reverse and the five of cups? You're going to be closed off though. You're going to try to self-sabotage this because of your past. Why is the five of cups here? Don't do it. 
Don't do it, nine of pentacles. You've got a lot of potential here and some of you are like, nope, I just wanna be on my own. It's gonna end in disaster just like all the others. I'm telling y'all, please do not. This looks like a really amazing connection, but you're gonna go into it right away. Like, nope, 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 nope. Don't want it, don't want it, don't want it. And then you, you catch feelings and then at the end, you're like, nope, 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 don't want it. So, you know, tarot is tarot. Like you can change the outcome. You have a potential of a new connection here though that could go somewhere. All right, last but never least is Pisces. All right, don't forget to hang out to the end here in a minute. We're gonna pull one card for each zodiac of spirit's advice for you when dealing with this new connection. What do they want you to do? They definitely don't want me to vape, I'm sure, but I just did. I'm sorry, spirit. All right, Pisces, new connection. What does Pisces need to know from now through the end of July? Pisces. Is this a hit or miss? So what is Pisces gonna feel for this person? What will this person feel for Pisces? What's coming in that Pisces isn't even gonna expect or that's gonna shock the hell out of them when it comes to this? And what's the outcome for Pisces and this person from now through the end of July? Is this gonna be a hit or a miss? Y'all don't forget to hit the thumbs up for me. Leave your comments below. We're doing best zodiac sign I've dated and worst zodiac sign I've dated in the comment section. That's always fun. And trust me, I read every comment. So, All right. how are you gonna feel, Pisces, about this person? The king of wands, ooh. Leo energy, maybe Sag. A lot of fire. You're gonna feel this person takes charge. They walk into a room and people are like, look, it's the king of wands. It's fiery and snappy dresser, good looking. How are they gonna feel about you? Oh, okay, ace of cups. What's coming in that you don't see that's gonna shock the hell out of you? The four of swords. And what's the outcome for the two of you? Judgment, big decision. So that's the only major arcana that's showing up here and it's in the outcome. So there's a big, like, life-changing decision that's going to be made here. I don't, I'm not doing second chances here. I'm not, because this is newer connections. Unless it's, like, you know, somebody that you dealt with a long time ago, and then they catch feelings for you, and they reach out out of nowhere. You know, like a friend or somebody you work with, or you met at Exxon when you were filling up your tank, like, six years ago, and then you hear from them. Something like that. All right, let's see what's up here. So Pisces, newer connections, what do they need to know? How will this all play out? Is it a hit or is it a miss for Pisces? All right, and then we're gonna pull a card of advice for each zodiac. All right, what does Pisces need to know, please, about this newer connection? Is this a hit or a miss? Ooh, mom just almost tipped over the entire camera. That would have been a nightmare. All right, so why will Pisces feel the four of wands for this person? The sun in reverse could definitely be a Leo. But you're not sure. You're going to be like, oh my God. This could be somebody, whether they're male or female, you're like, man, they've got a lot of like people after them or they're kind of like flirty, you know, like people want this person. So I'm not really sure where it's going to go. Do they want me? Pisces, everybody wants you. Don't feel like that. Why is the Ace of Cups how they're going to feel about Pisces? The Knight of Swords. Ooh, this could happen fast. And it goes with that Knight of Wands or, or uh, King of Wands energy for me. This is somebody that's very impulsive. They go after shit. And it's going to make you feel a little bit. It, they don't have to be a fire sign. Again, it's just somebody that like dresses nice. Like People are after this person. They're gonna feel an emotional connection. It's gonna hit them hard, quickly, fast. They're gonna be impulsive here. Uh, what's coming that you don't see is the Four of Swords. Why is this here? And the Page of Pentacles in reverse. I, I just felt it and heard it, I'm saying it, whatever. I feel like Pisces, this is somebody that you feel as though would never come into your life. Like. This person is like movie star good looking. Like something about this person, you're like, what? And so it's gonna kind of scare you a little bit because it's gonna it's gonna go fast. It's you know, it's moving quickly, very quickly. And they, fe they have feelings for you. Ace of Cups, strong feelings, but it's gonna make you pull away a little bit. 
Page of Pentacles in reverse. You may stop communicating with it, but it's not because you're not into them. It's going to be an energy of, what the hell are you doing texting me? It's not that you're not good enough because you are, but there's something about this person that's going to kind of set you back. Um, six of Cups. You might friend zone this person, because it, but it's going to be based on fear. There's potential here. I don't know why you're doing this. Why is judgment the outcome, though, here for uh, Pisces and this person? Why is judgment here? Six of Swords. See, there's a decision. Don't self-sabotage this connection. They're into you. you, but you move on. Let me see why. Judgment is you, like, taking stock of your past and just moving forward, like, making a decision, a very important decision. Um, it could be that you dealt with players in the past and you've done a lot of work on yourself. And so you're just like, no, nope, I'm not taking this chance. But there's an, a relationship. I see you pulling away from this person and it's fear-based. Even though I don't see the nine of, of wands or anything like that, I feel like this is more like you feel like, how is this happening? How could this happen? I wasn't expecting it. Something like that. You pull away, but then I think it comes back too. I think the Six of Swords, some of you are going to like move on from them. You're going to make that decision. But this is also like finally like coming to some sort of resolution. That this is a very strong connection. It reminds me of like a freaking movie. Six of Pentacles. Yeah. It's balanced. They're not going to take from you. They want to give to you. And they're not giving to somebody else. This is not a player, y'all. You've dealt with players in the past or something about them physically makes you think they're going to be a player. This is a hit. But I wouldn't be surprised if some of you pull away because you're fearful and then it comes back and you're like, oh shit, I'm not letting this get away. This is a good one, Pisces. You need to go for this. All right, let's do it. We're gonna pull one card of advice. So look, just kind of remember, you know, your reading or whatever. If you're already dealing with someone new, you meet someone new in July, this is what spirit wants to tell you. This is, this is one card of advice. We'll go all the way from Aries to Pisces. And this is what you should do with this person. Doesn't matter how the reading came out, really. It's what they want you to do or what they want you to know. All right. Show me all the way from Aries to Pisces that are dating someone new. They're going to start talking to someone new. Is it a hit? Is it a miss? What does spirit want them to know? What's the one card of advice for each zodiac? We're going to start with Aries. What does Aries need to know from spirit about a new connection? It's the main card of advice here for Aries. We're not going to clarify or do any of that. We're just throwing out one card of advice. Spirit, show us advice for Aries dating someone new. What do you want them to know? All right, let's do it. What's your advice for Aries, spirit? Be here fit in reverse. Taurus energy, probably non-committal. And you'll have to forgive me. I can't remember each outcome for each Zodiac. So you need to go back and watch it or watch the person that you're dating. Watch theirs. But this is non-committal. Somebody doesn't want to commit. Spirit says don't commit. This is not your forever person. There's something non-traditional also about the relationship that could get in the way. Religious factors, spiritual beliefs. Maybe you like vanilla ice cream. Maybe they like chocolate. Something about that. All right. So don't put all your eggs into that basket. All right, uh, Taurus, what does spirit want you to know? So if you start dating someone new, talking to someone new, what does spirit want you to know about this person? Y'all don't forget to leave in the comments the uh, best zodiac sign you've dated and the worst. I want to hear it. I want to see it. Actually, I'm not going to hear it. I'm going to read it. Right. Taurus, what's the advice for Taurus from spirit? They're dating someone new, new connection. What's the one card of advice for Taurus spirit. What do you want uh, Taurus to know? The moon could be fear-based, could be shit going on behind the scenes that you don't know about. Somebody's too closed off here. You need to investigate with that moon energy. There's just hidden factors, right? Or again, it's like somebody's too fearful. Um, depending on your reading, again, it could be that somebody's just not, doesn't know everything there is to know yet. Moon doesn't always have to be bad. All right, Gemini, what does Gemini need to know, please, from spirit? What's the advice? Judgment, sign of Scorpio. You could start dating someone new and then somebody from your past tries to come back. Judgment, spirit wants you to take a hard look in the mirror. 
Oh, there goes my light. I swear the battery on my light, y'all, lasts for like, well, I guess it lasted for an hour and nine minutes. Uh, yeah, that sucks. Hold on. All right, I don't know that that does anything. Uh, a big decision here with judgment. You need to really look at your past and make sure you're not like dating new people that are getting you caught in a cycle. Like, you know, in other words, like release the past, start date, dating different types of people. All right. Cancer, what's your advice from spirit? What do they want you to know? King of swords in reverse. If it's a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, it's a big fat no. Could be somebody that's, you know, doesn't tell the truth or is very harsh with their words. It's not the best energy, right? Now, this could be somebody from your past as well, Cancer, so don't let the past get in the way. But if you're definitely talking to an air sign, you need to investigate, so spirit. All right, Leo, what's the advice for Leo, please? What's the main advice for Leo? Those that are dating someone new, what does spirit want Leo to know about this person? What's the main card of advice for Leo about this newer connection? Three of Cups. Could be a, uh, friends with benefits. Could be a good time. Three of Cups. Maybe it's not like, you know, it's not a Ten of Cups. It's like dating and having a good time. Like, you know, it could end up as a friendship. It could be somebody also, too, um, that you've been friends with and it turns into something. we got to clarify. Why is this Three of Cups here? Knight of Cups in reverse, yeah. It could be like a hit it or quit it. It could be, you know, they could be telling you, like, don't throw all your eggs into that basket, right? Also, too, there could be some jealousy here, especially if you guys go out, you drink, you have a good time. There's some jealousy. The person you're dealing with could have jealous tendencies. So just watch that. Uh, Virgo, what is your advice from Spirit? What does uh, Virgo need to know? So if Virgo starts talking to someone new or dating someone new, what is the main advice? For Virgo what does spirit want them to do or to know or to like really take a look at Virgo all right uh, Virgo what do you need to know from spirit about this newer connection oh my god y'all saw me uh, freaking shuffle damn three of cups came out for uh, you guys too give me this uh, clarify this three of cups what's this three of cups Maybe you guys are gonna meet a Leo. Judgment. Why is judgment here? I feel like a lot of the same cards are coming out. I gotta shuffle a little bit more, y'all. Why is judgment here? This is a reunion too. Uh, yeah, Queen of Swords, Virgo. Uh, you might meet somebody who they want you to know, like there's like an X in their past or some shit like that. It, and it doesn't mean third party necessarily, Virgo, but they could definitely be dealing with somebody who's like difficult. Like there could be this energy around them. Like maybe like a parent, you know, they have a child with someone or like a mom that's hard to deal with. Something like that. I was getting with that energy. There's like some drama around this person in their life. Probably a female, but it doesn't have to be. So just know that you got some drama around them. Libra, what's your advice? So what does Libra need to know? So one card from Spirit for Libra. So Libras that are talking or dating someone new, what's the main advice from Spirit for Libra? What do you want Libra to know? What do you want Libra to know about this new connection in one card? What's the main advice? Ooh, the magician, it could be a Virgo or a Gemini. Uh, there's going to be a strong attraction. This person uh, will be able to sway you, <laughs> right? Laws of attraction. It could be somebody that's um, into manifestation, spirituality, but this is a very strong attraction. It's, it's alluring, right? Sometimes this magician will wear a false mask too. So just know it's going to be quite powerful, probably on the physical side. Um and it's, it's, you know, it's creation and it's, it can be very beautiful, but just make sure that you look past just like their beautiful eyes. Something about this person is going to be very, it's going to really draw you in, but spirit wants you to investigate a little more. Scorpio, what do you need to know? So if you start dating someone new, talking to someone new, what is the main advice from spirit? My dog's looking at me. She's just like, I'll pull the camera up here in a minute. Y'all can see my dog. She's just like, you gotta be kidding me with this. 
Uh, Scorpio, what's the main advice for Scorpio from Spirit? Start dating or talking to someone new. What's the advice from Spirit? What do they want you to know? So one card for Scorpio. What's their advice? It is the chariot in reverse. The good old water Uber is in reverse. Don't rush into something. Regain control in other aspects of your life as well. Make sure that you have things under control. Things aren't too chaotic. It's putting something to a halt, really, right? So you need to look into that and know why. Why, though? Why the chariot in reverse? Yeah, because the nine of pentacles. It's not, it's not time. You need spirit saying be on your own for a little bit. Focus on that work, your business, something like that. Well, hell, I feel like that was a personal reading for me because, well, I'm a Scorpio. Sounds about right. Um, all right, let's move on to Sagittarius. So what's the advice for Sagittarius? Dating someone new, talking to somebody new. Spirit, what do you want them to do with this person? <clears throat> what does Spirit want for Sagittarius? One card of advice. Those of you that uh, start a new kind of connection. Even if it's just talking to somebody online and you're like, I wonder if this will go somewhere. What does Spirit want Sag to know, please? All right, Spirit, what about Sag? What's their advice? <laughs> Is that the Knight of Cups? Yeah, the Knight of Cups in reverse. It could be um, they, they sweep you off your feet and then they take it back really quickly. Also, be careful of jealousy with the Knight of Cups in reverse. This is just not the most dependable. It's kind of like, you know, just watch out for that. It doesn't matter how your reading went. There's something about a connection here where there's jealousy or somebody um, is unreliable, like with the emotion. It's like they offer it and then you don't know when they're going to offer it again. Something about that. All right, Capricorn, what is your advice from Spirit? So if you have a new connection come in, what's the main advice from Spirit? Spirit, what advice do you have for Capricorn? Damn, this video is like a movie. It's an hour and 16 minutes. What is uh, the advice for Capricorn? What's the advice for Capricorn? <clears throat> Those that are uh, newer connections start dating someone new. What does spirit want Capricorn to know? Three of cups. Could be a good time, right? Watch the drinking, watch the partying, you know, that kind of thing. Don't overindulge, but it looks like a nice connection. It looks like it would be fun. Also watch out for third parties, all right? If you're not into that, let them know right away, all right? No drama, the three of cups. All right, what about Aquarius? What's the main advice for Aquarius? Also, um, Capricorn, watch out for uh, like friends with benefit type thing if you're not into that, all right? Something like that. Uh, Aquarius, what does spirit want you to know? One card, just one card of advice from spirit for those that start dating someone new, talking to someone new. Is this is for Aquarius. What does Aquarius need to know? What do you want Aquarius to know, spirit? What's your main advice, please, and one card? the main advice for Aquarius? Two of swords in reverse. Don't have the blindfold on. You got Libra and energy there. Like don't, you know, there's a decision that you're going to have to make. You may feel like this person is kind of clouds your decision making process, right? There's a decision that's going to be need to be made. And with the two of swords, it'll be definitive. It'll be, you know, so the main advice there is don't be cloudy. Don't let this person sway you one way or the other. Like those swords, that's your mind. That's your thoughts, right? So you're going to have to come to some sort of final decision. And it could be that they're really into you or you're really into them or something like that. But if you're going to find spirits telling you, you're going to find pretty quickly with a connection that the blindfold's coming off right? You see something clearly. You're going to need to. What about Pisces? So what's the main advice from Spirit for Pisces? So Pisces that are dating someone new, what does uh, Spirit want Pisces to know, please? It's the main energy. It's the main energy. Advice in one card. Overall advice for Pisces who start dating someone new. Pisces. New connection online. You meet them at the beach, you meet them at the airport, you start dating them, whatever. 
What's the main advice? Oh my God, y'all. I am losing it. All right. What's the main advice in one card for Pisces? They're going to be entering into some sort of new connection. Well, that one wanted to come out. Eight of Cups. And look at there. Reminds me of Pisces. There's your water energy, but look at that big fat moon. By the way, I think tonight's the full moon. Hmm. Manifest. Take a salt bath. But they're telling you to walk away. Let's see. Is it to leave your past behind at Pisces? Or is it to literally walk away from this person? What do you mean by the Eight of Cups? Queen of Wands in reverse. Be careful. You know what this is? It's you lacking confidence. You got to leave that behind. If you were cheated on in the past too, or you were in, you know, relationships that were, you know, based only on sex or whatever, it's time to leave that shit behind. You got to be confident. You got to know that this person is going to value you in some way. This is leaving your past behind. Give me one more card now. I got to see. What's this Eight of Cups for uh, Pisces? Yeah, Temperance. Sign of Sagittarius. Heal your past. Gain your confidence. There's a connection here that wants you and you got to leave bullshit behind. This person is going to be patient and wait for you to realize that they're your person. All right, y'all, mom here needs to go drink some vodka. I'm just kidding, I'm not going to, but I am gonna hit one more vape. Don't forget to leave your comments. Favorite Zodiac you've dated? Not so favorite Zodiac sign you've dated. Hit that thumbs up, you guys, and I love you hard, love me hard back, and we'll speak soon. Take care.